In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my experience going to a concert as a disabled person, plus with some really hilarious vlog footage that my sister took. So when I first heard about the Ed Sheeran concert, I really didn't think I could go simply because I was disabled. But I also thought that the experience would be much more different and even more difficult because in all the concerts I've gone to in the past, I've been really fortunate to have been in the festival standing section, you know, where you can like dance and like see the artists more up close. So with my disability, I couldn't imagine having the same fun. But now I know that that is completely false. And that being disabled actually comes with a lot of perks. So without further ado, here's a little recap of my experience. And if you like it, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. video thus far. For the rest of this video, I'm going to be showing you the details of what it's like watching the Ed Sheeran concert specifically as a disabled person. Before we get started, I don't mean to flex, but I need to have my little fangirl moment, okay? Ed Sheeran is literally... He was just a perfect, like absolute professional, like, which just blows my mind away that so much talent can be wrapped into one Human. He was like, tonight's my last show, so I don't care if I lose my voice, like we're gonna lose our voices together and <laughs> On top of that, he apologized for not coming last time. If you didn't know, Ed Sheeran was supposed to come in 2017 And I literally Sold half my closet so that I could get a ticket for that show Only for him to fall off his bike and break his wrist And to make up for it, he sang a bunch of his old songs, which just melted my heart It was just, it was so cool, like it felt special, you know it was... But yeah, fangirl moment over, back to the video. I'm gonna go through four points about the technicalities first, and then I'm gonna go into a little story time about a really heartwarming encounter that I had with the security guard at the event. Firstly, as a disabled person, it was really, really difficult getting to the venue as close as I could being in a car. Jakarta traffic is literally unlike any other in the world. And literally, even when we were still like a kilometer or two away from the event, people were already getting out of their cars in the middle of traffic and like walking or even running towards the event. But me being in my car, I had to wait and go all through that traffic before I could finally get to the entrances. So that was really frustrating and it made us a lot more late. Second point, it is so convenient having a security guard escort you throughout the entire time. First of all, I got to get through crowds much, much quicker because the security guards would like talk to each other on their little walkie talkies and be like, disabled person coming through and like literally make space for me to go through while everyone else had to like wait in even longer lines. At the end of the concert, my sister and I thought we could just make do without a security guard, but that actually turned out to be way more difficult because literally you just become invisible all of a sudden. It's like people would bump into us or literally not even pay attention. Even if we'd say, excuse me, they'd literally just like stay where they are and like not move. It, it was so annoying. But after some time, like trying to go solo, eventually the same security guard from the beginning noticed us and came over to help us again. And once again, we were visible to the world. Third, I noticed that security was much more lenient towards me 
simply because I was in a wheelchair. First, they saw me and like didn't even verify my identity. They just scanned the ticket and let me go through. Second, for the body check and bag search, non-existent. Basically, they just took one look at me and was like, go through. And if I had known that's what would have happened, I would have not thrown away my water bottles. I would have kept it in my pants and snuck it in because my sister and I were really stupid and forgot to bring money. So once we were inside the venue, we didn't get to buy water. So we literally went the whole concert screaming at the top of our lungs without a single drop of water. It's just, that's just the perk, you know, if like security isn't so... And like, plus it would have been really embarrassing for me to like actually open my bag and just show him my spare diapers. Fourth and final point, the disabled section, like yeah, a section really was like a blessing in disguise for us. First of all, as soon as we came in, the person noticed that I was disabled and just immediately directed me, even though I didn't have a disabled ticket. So our tickets were actually for the 13th row, which is so much closer to the stage. Where we sat in the disabled section was adjacent to row 52, which is a lot further back. But if we had gone to our seat, I'm pretty sure everyone in the front area is like standing or even standing in on their seats. So in the disabled section, even though we were far away and the was a tiny dot, at least I saw a tiny dot instead of only lots of butts. And there's obviously the screws which enlarge the person. We literally had an entire area to ourselves. Because of this, we were also a lot less sweaty, so we wouldn't have been smushed in between people, you know what I mean? So yeah, those are the four things I noticed. As you can tell, most of them were honestly perks. So if you stayed this far, first of all, thank you. Aww. And secondly, now you get to hear the really heartwarming story that honestly made my night. Hi everyone, I'm editing this video right now and it's already way too long and by now people would have already clicked off and I want more people to hear this story and learn something from it so I think I'm going to make a completely separate video about it or include it in one of my episodes for my upcoming series which I talked about in my last video so I hope you understand and stay tuned for that video. Comment a blue heart emoji so that I know you've stayed until this part of the video. Blue for Ed Sheeran's Divide poster I guess. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're also injured and looking for comfort, then I just so happen to have a bunch of videos on my channel talking about my recovery and I hope it can inspire you as well. And even if you're not and you're curious about my recovery journey, go watch the playlist up here. So thank you for watching. Never take your life for granted. You are so blessed to be alive. See you in my next video. Bye. My voice is gone. Yeah.